Morpeth has a very, very rich heritage of people who went off to become famous. And fame is a, a funny old thing, especially if you're an artist, um, because it generally doesn't arrive until you're dead. And a little known character from Morpeth is Joseph Corhorn, who was a painter. He was actually Joseph Corhorn III, and he was born and bred in Morpeth. Uh, he studied art at King's College in London and went off to Paris, Morocco, Spain, London, and he died in London a pauper. Um, now he was his own worst critic. In some ways that was a good thing because if he didn't like a painting he did, he set fire to it. So most of his work he burned himself, so there's very, very few paintings that he did that he was satisfied with. Um, his life really was pretty uninspiring. Like I say, he wasn't really very well known until after he died and then his painting became a bit more well known and collected and there's several of his paintings are now in the Burrell collection. Um, a brief image of one of them, a blacksmith working at, working at a forge. And so it's from that painting that this poem was inspired from, and it's, it's called The Forge. Standing here, I ponder flame, and all the lives it birthed and raised of shoeing horses and earning and feeding sons, of shaping iron and earning funds. The blood and sweat upon these floors and whispered curses, fires roar around the room, stand dark and dead. The blacksmith's shadow holds no dread. There's echoes of his swinging might ring round the rooms on quiet nights. With roaring flame he plied his trade, his skill, this one man factory iron mill. So as you sit and ponder too, please do think of horse and shoe, of farmer's plough and rake and hoe, and all the seeds it helped to sow. This hearty fire will keep you warm and bring new life to one and all. <laughs>